Hey guys, Tomboy601, and today we got one of my first games in the Bismarck. Of course, last week during the stream, able to save up the money, purchase the Bismarck, and I wasn't going to show the first game, and then I realized that first game lasted all of five minutes because I charged in and just let the secondaries do their thing, because you know what? I've watched the Bismarck do it for almost a year and a half, two years while I've been playing this game. And I wanted to do it, and I did it, damn it. It wasn't the smart move, but it was the fun move, and we're playing a game, so that's the important bit. Anyways, uh, we're here on Haven. Let me go ahead and knock out comment of the day. Comment of the day goes out to Vaz Vegas. He says, just want to say this first video I found of yours, and the detail is off the charts, plus one sub, and I'll be sure to check out more. This type of ship is not for me, but I like that you can get the speed up to 40 knots. Of course, that was over on our Duca d'Aosta review, the new Italian premium ship. Go ahead, check that out if you haven't already. Anyways, we are here on Haven, and when you spawn on Haven, there's really only two options, left or right, and that's going to determine your game. Uh, we spawned middle, so we kind of have the option. You don't really want to go down the middle of Haven unless you have a lot of concealment and its uh, domination, because then you're going to be able to at least try to affect the game. But anyways, in this, in this case, we're going to go ahead and go right. Use this island for as much cover as we can. Try to get close enough for our 10 kilometer uh, secondaries to be able to start lighting people up. And we are already in range right here. So now it's just a matter of getting a line of sight, I think. It was um, Duke of York or King George that just set us a fire, and we're just going to go ahead and eat the fire. No point in uh, using a damage control party this early in the game. Good night, now sailing broadside, and we're going to go ahead and hold our guns until we can fully see him and let him know, hey, we are right here. Uh, and there we go. As we come around that corner, our secondaries start lighting up, and that's just what we want to see. I love the, just, just saying, I love the Bismarck and it's crazy secondaries. Like you think you have a good game and then it's just because you hear the firing all the time. And then you look at your damage, and you're like, oh, I didn't do too well, but all the guns are going off all the time. And it's a fun ship to be played. Anyway, second salvo goes out on Gnize now. And we do uh, another 8K of damage doing decent right here. Gnize now already down to half health. And we do kind of have an option. We could concentrate on that cruiser that's dead ahead of us, but I think Gneisenau is going to give us more trouble. He's going to be the one uh, that is giving us, uh, who has the potential to damage us more. If we notice, Miyoko, for some reason, not using HE at this point. He is just firing AP, and yes, he's getting one or two shells in our superstructure for 15k, but he would be way more effective uh, if he was firing HE because his fire setting chance is just simply ridiculous. Uh, and whatever he's being able to hit with that AP, he could definitely hit with the AG and be way more effective. Anyway, Gnizen now goes ahead, hides behind there, doesn't have much health left. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, you, uh, shooting at the Miyoko. Decent 4K salvo there. He's just under half or just above half at this point. And uh, we're just kind of slowly reversing because the island cover for this section is very much like... A, the term like pieing out a corner where you want to expose your ship to the minimum number of ships that you can. And in this case, we are, we are making sure that we're not pulling ourselves too far forward. Uh, and Miyoko goes head fires when he's right in the middle of the ocean. And we are going to go ahead and let off this one last salvo before uh, he goes ahead and hides behind Sharn horse. We're expecting to, uh, to move around the island and our teammates to kind of take care of them. Dev strike uh, right there. That's what we like to see. Miyoko gone. Uh, thankfully, we uh, double hit his Citadel there and uh, eliminated him off the map. And here comes what I would assume are his widespread torps. Uh, or because I think Gnaiz and Owls would have been a little bit quicker in getting to us. I think those are Miyoko's. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and cross this open plane here, which is a little dangerous for us just because... You are showing broadside, so it's going to be a matter of if any of the enemy ships are paying attention and their minimap awareness. Fiji, we can kind of hit, but it looks like we have some sort of battleship. It's a John Bart that is sailing flat broadside to us, and we are going to go ahead and take advantage of that. He, he clearly has other ships in his sights. He is not looking towards us. It is time for us to open up on him and uh, hit him for a Citadel right there up to 65k. 
and slowly get those rear guns turned around. They only have one cruiser uh, defending their base and they are kind of starting to close in on ours. So tactically, we are going to start to going, we're going to start to have to try to make a decision of when we turn in and try to kind of pincer in on the enemy team. And for me, it's probably going to be right after we uh, circle by this island. Kind of wanted to make sure we took care of that cruiser in the base. And then once we take care of that cruiser, battleships shouldn't be capturing. I mean, look, we have we have better ships for capturing in the area. We have cruisers. Uh, we have full health. We might as well go spend that health. We might as well go, you know, use our hit points to, to the benefit of our team and start sailing down and see if we can catch any other ships broadside so we can start doing some damage. And that's going to be the plan. We've eliminated everyone in the base. Sharn Horse, surprisingly, is still alive over on the right-hand flank, which I, I would have thought he would have died, but he must have uh, kind of hid, got those heals off, tried to heal on up. Anyways, we start coming around the corner. John Bart is backing up again, full broadside. So we will go ahead and uh, let him know we're still out here and uh, take another 10K off of his plate. Uh, starting to sail into the middle, which is always dangerous. But at this point, we've kind of eliminated one whole flank. So the angles that fire can come in are really rather limited. And that is what we are kind of uh, anticipating and counting on is the fact that the firing angles from the enemy team are going to be rather limited and it is safe for us to push into what is essentially open water. Um, and reminder, we are more of a brawling battleship. I know with this most recent update, we are, uh, we, we kind of got a, a, a buff to the Bismarck in its dispersion and it is starting to be a little more accurate than it, than it really should be for being a brawler. But uh, we do want to stay within that 10. King George also broadside here. And now we need to start paying attention because if we look off to our starboard side, there is a Massachusetts coming around the corner. So we're going to go ahead, take the shots off the King George and uh, kind of determine when we want to turn in. We see that we have a friendly battleship here. So we are hoping that he is kind of kind of support us. And uh, when we need to, when the mass turns, turns out to turn into on us, he would be able to get the broadside and take a little bit of health out of him. We're going to go ahead and turn and try to get nose into the mass. Um, but sadly, haven't really mastered the turning circle of the Bismarck here. We take a couple of hits there, but not too bad. Mass lets us know he knows we are here. And we are just going to go ahead and try to swing those guns as quick as we can around. And sadly, we go ahead and hit that island and are now a stationary target, which is never good because... Uh, we, we're we're a dinner bell we're we're a plate of food and a dinner bell's a ringing and it is not is about to be not very pretty Forty thousand health is what we have right now and uh we are using our heel and we just take a nasty salvo from that king george we are full broadside it plunges in it hurts us bad and uh now we are in real trouble our only goal now is to try to take as much health off this mass as possible and uh we go ahead, hold the salvo a little longer than uh, when we could have instantly fired, but that does give us a good hit. Target hits up to, uh, secondaries are up to 150, and he goes ahead, finishes us off. But uh, 140k damage, uh, just messing around in the Bismarck. Not too bad, not too shabby. Definitely a fun ship that I will continue to play because I am having a fantastic time. Guys, that's today's video. If you like it, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.